When he would go to sleep, 59-year-old John Burroughs felt as if something was crawling in his body. My leg, I just couldn't hold it. It would have to twitch, and it would twitch just like that. I would have to move my leg. I would just have to move it. John's twitching disrupted his sleep. He sought help and was eventually diagnosed with restless leg syndrome, a neurological condition that often wreaks havoc with sufferers' sleep patterns. Restless leg is one of the most common movement disorders in the world. There's a wide range of severity of restless leg syndrome. Some people will just get it once or twice in their life. Some people will get it a few times a year. Some people will get it a couple days a month. And then there are the unfortunate people who get it a few days a week or every night of the week. When I first uh, noticed it, the twitching would only happen every few minutes, like maybe every five minutes or every 10 minutes. But later, years later, it would be uh, every uh, 60 or 90 seconds. I woke up last night, I could not sleep. John Burroughs wasn't getting enough sleep, but at least he knew why. Many RLS sufferers don't know they have a treatable problem. Despite being so prevalent, it is a very underdiagnosed and underrecognized condition. Treatments include warm baths and relaxation techniques, such as yoga or meditation. Also, massaging their legs and taking over-the-counter pain relievers may help. During flare-ups of RLS symptoms, medical experts say the best advice is to move around. Standing up uh, can really knock down the symptoms, at least temporarily. Although movement does bring relief, it is generally a temporary fix. For severe cases, there's medication to control symptoms. There are a number of effective treatments. And if the first one doesn't work or is not well tolerated, there are other options. So as a doctor treating people with RLS, I have to say, I'm in a good position because many of the patients that I treat do better, quite a bit better. I'm lucky that I can get treatment for this and it's essentially completely effective and for that I'm really grateful and that's a, that's a great thing. Like everybody else, I mean, I've got a, I've got a life, you know, and, and, I, and I really need this to be low on the priority list. I don't want to worry about my legs or my body. Experts also stress the importance of good sleep habits or sleep hygiene. Individuals should go to bed and get up at the same time each day. Bedrooms need to be dark, slightly cool, and quiet.